Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from automationstepbystep.com and in this session we are going to learn some very interesting mouse actions in Selenium. In the last session we have seen and learned some keyboard actions. So in this session we are going to see how do we do some mouse actions like how to move the mouse cursor to a particular element. We will learn how to click and hold with the mouse how to do right click or double click and we will also learn how to do drag and drop actions with mouse with the help of selenium so this is going to be very easy and very interesting and i will tell you everything from scratch so let's get started and first let us see how we can move the mouse cursor to a particular element and for that i will first go to my project so this is the project that we have been creating selenium 4 project and here I will first create a new class in my test package. So I will do a right click here, go to new and class and I will call this as mouse actions. You can call it anything and this is cre this creates a mouse actions class and I will also create a main method. So I will say main control space bar and it gives me auto suggestion. I will select this so it generates a main method for me and I will press Ctrl and plus key on my keyboard to increase the font. I hope this is very clear now. So now first thing I will add the statements to start my browser and that I can copy from my earlier classes. So this is what I have used earlier. Let me just copy this thing. I will also add an implicit weight. So this is what I am doing here and as soon as I copy these statements it also imports all the required libraries so I'm using WebDriver manager and I'm using the selenium web driver so now after this I will say driver dot get and I will go to a some demo website and for this particular demo I have found a very good website here so this is called uh, selenium 8 blogspot now I do not know who has created this website so I just want to thank whoever has created this website it is very good for practicing and here you can see drag and drop examples uh, click and hold examples right click and so on let me go to this click and hold and here uh, we have all these boxes alphabet boxes a b c d and i can go to any of the boxes and i can drag and drop click and hold or move it here and there so this is uh, very interesting let us try to do a demo on this website so i will go to this website here driver.get and then i will also have to use a semicolon at the end and yes it is there and after this let us say I will first get the locators of these boxes so let us say I want to uh, move a I want to go to this particular box a click and hold it and then move it to some other position let us say here to D so I will do a right click here and say inspect so that I can get some locator and here if you see it is of type li this is the tag name and it has a class it has a name and then it has a text value a so using this I can create a x path so let us try to create a x path I will say driver dot find element by dot x path and I will give two quotes double quotes here and forward slash forward slash the tag name is li and then square brackets start and close and I want to get the text value so I can directly say text and brackets equals to and within single quotes I will give the value a so this should uh, create a locator and this should be able to find this particular box and I can also store it into a variable of type web element so I will say web element and I will say box a you can name it anything and you will also have to import the web element from selenium libraries you can see my imports look like this as of now so I have created a locator for box A similarly I can create a locator for box uh, D let us say I want to move to do D so I will say I will call it D and here the text value is D so now I have the 
locators for both of these elements. Now to move a cursor to an element, we use the function move to element which is in the actions class of selenium. So first I have, will have to create a object of the actions class. So I will say here actions and you can name anything uh, a variable action equals new actions and if I press control spacebar now I should be getting auto suggestions and yes this is what I will be using from the selenium library and it takes the web driver object here or web driver instance so in my case this is driver which is being passed here and using this actions class now or the instance of this actions class which is actions I can now say I can call all the mouse functions and if I say move you can see we have got a function move to element and it takes the web element as its argument so I will say move to element and I want to move to box A and to perform the action I will have to say actions dot build dot perform and that's it this should do the action for us and after this I will close my browser so I will say driver dot quit and at the end I will also just print out I will say SYSO control space bar for auto completing system dot out dot print ln statement and I will I will say done. So this is just to make sure that it has reached this position and everything has been performed successfully. I can also just add a sleep before closing the browser and this I am doing so that we can see the action being performed on the screen and it, it is not recommended to add hard weights like this but just for this time so that you can see this performing on the screen I am adding a sleep of 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds I am also adding a throws declaration for thread.sleep and that's it I will now do a right click run as java application and let us see this on the screen so it opens the browser goes to the application and it has it should have moved the cursor to uh, the box a and if you see the console everything is fine and i also get this text done but we could not actually see uh, anything changing on the screen because it does not it just moves here and does not do anything so for that let us try to do a, a click and hold so it will go and click and hold and this is the function click and hold so after moving to the element I will say actions dot click and hold you can see we have this action and if I want I can also pass the element here box a but because my cursor is already there I do not have to pass and it all it will also verify that it is able to click and hold uh, box A because it can do that only after moving to box A because we are not giving box A here we are only giving box A here and then we are just saying click and hold so it should click and hold to at the position where we have our cursor and then I will say after clicking and holding I can also do a right click action but before that let me say actions dot move to element and I will say box D so this should make some changes on the screen it should go to A click and hold and then move to D so this is what we should now see on the screen and let us save and I will run this and check so it opens the browser and yes so did you see it has moved the box but because we did not release our uh, mouse so we could not see the other box that is D moving back to A's position so for that instead of uh, actions.build I can say actions.release.build or actions.release.perform also I can say directly and let us save now and run again and check and yes you can see for a very uh, small duration we could see the change let me do this again and you can watch carefully it has actually moved the boxes you can watch now it moves the boxes and then releases so that's why we could see this action on the screen so i'll just change it back to build.perform so we have seen 
move to element click and hold and for right click I can just say context click this is the function context click so let me uh, do that here it itself so I will comment out all these actions and I will just say here actions dot context click and I can give the web element where I want to do the right click so let us say I will say box D and it should go to box D and do a right click so I will run again and check opens the browser and yes you can see on box D it has done a right click so this is how you can do a right click using the mouse and then you can also do a double click using double click function so I can just say here actions let me comment this part this statement and I will again say actions dot double click and I will again do a double click on box D and I will save and run now I don't know if you will see anything different on the screen or any changes for, for double click yeah so we are not able to you know make out if it actually double clicked or not so maybe you can use some other website or maybe some button for this particular demo but yeah we know everything is fine there are no exceptions no error so that means we were able to do the double click successfully and then we can do a drag and drop as well in that case we use the function drag and drop and here we also have to give the source element and the target element so let us try this and for this uh, again if I see this example we have a drag and drop demo here a practice page for drag and drop you can see we have two boxes here I can just drag and drop it like this so this is what we are going to do with selenium now so for this first I will have to go to this web page so I will say here let me say here driver dot get and I will go to this web page and after this let me get locators for these two boxes or these two elements if I inspect this element here uh, we have we have the ID that is called draggable I can use this to create a locator so I will say driver dot find element by dot id directly and this is the id draggable and i can store it into a variable of type web element i will say element one you can name it anything and similarly for this box or this element if i inspect we have again we have id called droppable I will again create a locator I'll just copy and paste and I will call this as element 2 and this I will uh, just copy this droppable this is the ID and I will paste it here so I have got these two elements and for now I can just comment this area or let me just comment everything from here I will say forward slash star and star forward slash so I am commenting all this and this is the new section so I will again have to call my actions class so I will say actions actions new action and pass the driver object and now using this I can call the function that is drag and drop so I will say actions dot drag and drop and I will say this is the source element element one this is the uh, other element so we have destination source and destination so element one and element two and then again I will I will have to say actions dot build dot perform and that's it so this should do the action I will save and run and check so it opens the browser goes there and yes you can see it has dragged and dropped and this is how we can do a drag and drop action in mouse with the help of selenium and I hope all this was very interesting and very easy you can do some hands-on and let me know if you face any issues 
I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.